Okay, uh, we've got the IF cans complete. Uh, secondary, uh, second IF, first IF. The uh, lettering on the thing, all it is is decals. That's all it is. Clear, uh, a clear decal with uh, actually uh, tracing. That is not real text. It is polylines with a hatch, a solid hatch in it. Uh, I wanted to keep it as close to um, original looking as possible, so I had to trace, I had to zoom in and trace the outline of the text in the image. I snapped a picture of it, cropped it, enlarged it, brought it into AutoCAD and did a polyline tracing of all the text on both uh, and the beauty of the thing was it didn't take very long because the uh, once you did the 95-70 and you did the 455 KCB A it was easy enough to just copy it over and then just create the three and the four different ones and uh, so the second one was a piece of cake but all it is is printed on clear decal paper uh, film or whatever the heck you call that stuff so that's how we did that and then we got the we got the uh, cans uh, buffed uh, to a, a metal finished a metal finish and it's coated with two coats of clear poly and then the appliques were applied and an additional coat went on so that's what we did with that now we have i have the other one of these for the for the radio organ controls in the uh, in the goop in the magic potion and um uh, this here has been buffed well actually it's been just uh brushed with my with my stainless steel brushing and it took all the color out of it so it's a it's a raw casting uh, pretty much so and we got it we got it cleaned up uh this is an original the other one has the tang that was replaced or uh yeah that was repaired on it so that makes it easy for to get a primer on this thing and a new coat which is going to get a metallic coat like i did the previous uh the previous radios uh now the i've had these out there in the soaker and they are, have been cleaned up i still got to get to this one uh, clip the wires off of it and strip it down to bare part uh, this one here uh, is for the base side uh, now the the reason why I've had to etch these with the base and let me see what I got here and the treble is because Two contacts are shorted together on this base side and there are no contacts shorted together but there is a jumper in here for this one and there's also a jumper in here for this one here too and so uh, what I'm gonna do is you see how wonky fied these during uh, contacts are they're not so bad on this one uh, they're looking pretty good on that one just a little slight adjustment but it's going to get the same procedures done on that one as I'm going to do on this one and I'm going to show you what I do in order to get these things back in shape and to tighten them up on the board because a lot of times they're a little wiggly jiggly in there and they're come loose so uh, stand by that's the reason why i got my uh my 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 vi ver uh, horizontal vice out for my drill press 
and I got just a regular uh, punch in there with the thing turned upside down and a flat spot up here and I'm using a center punch that I'm going to use on these eyelets you see how the this side of the eyelet is solid I mean this is the base part of the the eyelet these here insert into the hole through the connection side of the contact so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it over here and put it up on there and then use the center punch to snuggle it up and uh, let me get this thing in the stirrup and I'll show you okay got you there so let's make sure that we got lots of light on that now what we'll do is we'll uh, start with this front one here we will put that I need to get I need to get this thing adjusted and back out of the way uh, that one there needs a little bit of an adjustment too and get it back out of the way these here are just a little bit of, so we can make an adjust final adjustments later as we get them done so we'll stick that on there hopefully you can see what I'm well <laughs> god darn it uh, let me get in a different position so my hands are at least out of the way <laughs> so we're gonna go in there like that and like that and then I'm gonna take my little favorite tool minus the baling wire and just wrap it now we're gonna go over to this side and do the same thing we're gonna to go to that side come on and do the same thing over over here over there and let me turn this thing around so I can get a, a good hold of it there that's all you need you don't need to wrap on it really hard because you'll fracture the phenolic board so that's all I do for these and then I go in and, and do what I need to do to shape these so hopefully uh, I've given you some vital information hang on we're gonna have more okay here we are we are cleaned up now this is the base uh, contact assembly or the the base side of the con of the of the uh, <laughs> of the radio organ controls uh, these are all adjusted and set and uh, this was the side that was kind of radically wonky okay here is the treble side assembly and we etched in the positions of the paddles and we've got the the connection points lugs cleaned up and we got the uh, contacts done so now w w what I'm going to try attempt to do on both of these is take that little that slight little bow out of it uh, I don't know if it's going to be possible short of putting a splint on it but uh, I don't think it's going to matter one way or another uh, but we'll make an attempt at it because we've got a lot to still continue to do on this on this chassis and these other parts so in the meantime we can jig these up and get them see if we can get them straightened out so we'll move on to other shit oh uh, crap uh, poop okay uh, on to uh, we've got these adjusted this other one didn't quite strip as much as this did uh, they got a better bond on this 
whatever or coating than they did on that one. Uh, that one, did, that one there, only soaked for about two hours. This one here soaked uh, a day and a half. <laughs> so anyway, uh, and then we made an adjustment to the uh, trigger point here that holds it on. Uh, the unlocking button that unlocks it from the bezel. Uh, we made a slight adjustment to that to kind of alleviate uh, the heavy pressure you had to put on it in order to get it to push in. So we did that much. The one thing I wanted to point out was, you know, on these buttons, you remember a video ago or so, I indicated that where the eyelets were on these uh, tone controls determines whether it's normal open or normal closed. Well, see if I can get down here and get some better light. Um, you see these? All of these are on the base side. This one being the top button, middle button, bottom button. Voice, top, normal. Tre uh, treble is in, I believe, the top. Normal is in the middle and voice is at the bottom. Well, if you noticed here, um, these three, the button, the the eyelets are all in the same position. But over here, normal is in the same position. This is just opposite. But it's in the same position as as these over here. These two are in the upper position. So that means when these paddles, this one and this one is out, they're making contact. And when this paddle is out, it is not making contact. You have to push the normal button in in order to get it to change. These here, likewise. You'd have to do that in receive it over so anyway, that's what I wanted to, to let you know on these. There is a method to the madness, and I somebody pointed that out to me in the forum, and uh, uh, I knew they were in a different position, but I just wasn't thinking. <laughs> so, you know, uh, my question was, why doesn't it work uh, like I think it should work? And somebody pointed that out that normal open, normal close, uh, two of them are different. So I said, aha. So, one other thing I wanted to cover was the, I, I said I was going to use some of my uh, phono uh, pickup wire. Well, this, this is it. If the sucker would dug on focus, But anyway, there's a there's a center lead. It is shielded with some uh, poly, some kind of a sleeving, like you know PTFE sleeving, and then it's got a cloth wrapping on it, and then it's got the braided uh, shielding on it. This is what I'm going to use in place of this this crap that's in it now that somebody so pleasantly just clipped <laughs> so anyway that's all i wanted to cover uh we're out of here now thanks for watching